Hi everyone. Today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to teach you about a website that you can use at home to get kids engaged with math while also using technology. I really love the applications that I'm going to show you today and continue to show you over the next couple of weeks because they get kids in a hands-on visual way with fractions without actually being hands-on because you may not have the tools at home to do this, but you can use these apps to visualize um, what is happening with mathematics. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is call your attention to the website. This is called the mathlearningcenter.org. If you just type in the math learning center, Dot org it will give you some options and if you click on the math apps option that will bring you to this page right here where it says math apps and you'll see there are fractions there's geoboard there's a clock there's some vocabulary cards there's money pieces um, these number frames number pieces number line number rack and pattern shapes so there are different ones you can go to now all of these if you click on the name it's not going to get you to the app. What actually happens is that it brings you to a page that looks like this and it shows you what the app will look like. In order to open the app, you have to go to the open web app. So I'm going to go back to that original page we were just at. And you can see that has the open web app right here. I'm going to click on that and that's going to get me to this fraction part. Okay, now what's really neat about this page is that um, and this app is that you have the opportunity to really play around with different um, key functions of it. Now, unfortunately, I'm realizing that my screencaster is recording, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit so that you can see all the functions at the bottom of the app. So down here, we have some different functions that we can do. And so this app today that I'm gonna show you too is just about fractions. And one of the things that I found about this app is that kids who really enjoy playing around with it because there's a lot of different things that they can do that they really have a lot of fun with. Okay, so first we're gonna do is start building a fraction. And so when you click this, you decide, okay, how many parts is the fraction going to have? So if kids are relatively new with fractions, I would recommend sticking to basic fractions like halves, thirds, fourths, um, you know, sixths and eighths are pretty reasonable. We wouldn't wanna to get too high up in these numbers here because that becomes more complex. But ultimately, you will have students putting in this box here. They'll be like, oh, I'm going to put in 247. And they'll play around with that. And that's good because it teaches them something about the fractions. But for first, we'll just start off with fourths because that's pretty standard. Now, down here, you have different colors that you can play around with. So if I choose red and I color these in, then I can create the fraction. And then here, if I click on this little bar, and I'll show you that again down here, this one half, that little bar, it's not gonna show up as one half up here because what I've chosen is I've cho chosen three out of the four pieces. So it's showing me that I've made three fourths. If I click on these again, they go away. Now I have two fourths. Now I have one fourth. So the real power of this is if you were to build another one that's the same size, you're also gonna have fourths. And then you put them next to each other. Okay. Then they can kind of compare, right? If I use a different color here, they can compare how two fourths and three fourths are similar to each other and how they're different to each other. Um, where the real power comes in is when we start playing around with different denominators, so different amount of parts. So now I've chosen eight pieces because eighths and fourths are pretty compatible. If I go to my colors down here, I'm gonna pick, I can see that two eighths is the same size as one fourth. Or if I go to four eighths, I can see that's the same size. It lines up with that two fourths there. And what's really kind of cool about this too is that um, you can, sometimes you can layer them on top of each other. And then you can also switch their orientation at times. So let's see. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of playing around with these things to figure out exactly how they work. Um, I'm gonna go back to my pencil tool over here. My pencil tool allows me to write things. So let's say that I wanted to draw a line and I wanted to draw it right down the middle here so that I could see how they line up. You can do that. 
And then again, that's a good visual for how two fourths and four eighths are similar to each other. All right, I can also use my eraser tool. If I wanna go back and erase that because I made my lines too long. Um, I can change colors of my pen if I want to. This, I can draw squiggly lines. And I, actually, I realize I have to move my screencaster over because it's not showing you what I want to show you right now. So let me move that away, move the screencaster over. When you choose the pen, sorry, this is the, these are the options that come up that you weren't able to see with my screencast before. And you have a pen that can draw squiggly lines like this. You have a pen that can draw straight lines. You can change the colors of your lines. Um, and then you have your eraser. And then if you want to erase everything, clear drawing, yes. Another way that you can clear the drawing is, let's say we go back to the pen, we've drawn, ooh, we make all that. If I click off of this, the drawing goes away. So that's another item that you can use. And then, oh goodness, I clicked on something totally where I don't want to be. All right, back where I am. Okay, moving my screencaster over again. Sorry about that, you got to US visit a US ski team page for a minute. Okay, so now this down here allows us to, I'll move my screencaster over so you can see. This allows us to actually write numbers. So if I wanted to write one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths, then I have that equation that I can use and I can take this and I can move it around over here. So I could put that right up next to what I built before, move my screencaster back so that you can see that. So then I can see how that lines up there. So this is our drawing tool. This is our, um, our symbols and our numbers that we can do. This one right here duplicates something that we have made. So if I wanted to duplicate, I don't know if you just thought, saw what happened up there, is I had my equation and I press that little duplicate button, then that will duplicate it for me. All right, now let's try another one. I'm gonna pick that this one has uh, 12 parts this time. Okay, and I'm gonna move this over here. Now, remember, if I click this little thing down here, I can make the, the fractions go away so I don't know what fractions I'm working with, or if I click it again, then it goes back. Now this button down here, I can make my fraction bar go vertical if I want to, or then back to horizontal again. So you can play around with that a little bit. Now, if I've created this twelfths, and let's say that I go over and I want to layer it on top of another one, I can do that. I can slide this right over and show how, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six twelfths is the same size as two fourths. So let's see, I'm gonna to go to my colors. I'll try that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got that. Now, if I wanna move this, I just lasso around it. All I did was take my mouse and hold it down and draw it around. Now I can move this again. Move it back over so I can layer it on top of the other one. Ta-da! It matches up perfectly. So my six twelfths is equal to two fourths. So as I said before, it's a really powerful tool to get kids to see the fraction equivalence, which is really challenging for kids to do. Now, I said invariably you're gonna end up with kids who come up with some crazy number. So let's say 144 parts they want to make their fraction. Okay, you might not ever see 144ths. But what's really interesting about this is that this diagram really allows students to see the size of those parts. How when our denominator gets bigger, our fractional pieces actually get smaller. And so then if they start playing around with colors and trying to make the pieces different colors, they're gonna start to see that, hmm, these pieces are really teeny tiny. And so even though it might seem ridiculous to play with 144 as your denominator, it gives the kids a visual for the size of pieces, which is really important. So as you're home, you're doing learning at home, be awesome if you can 
have students play around with this some because it's fun. They get to explore, they get to have a good time with fractions. Now, the, I haven't um, showed this yet. This is the fraction circle. So you can also make fractions and circles here. So let's say that I wanna have my circle have eight pieces, just like we have our traditional pizzas that everybody likes in their eight pieces. Again, it's gonna do a fraction just as you did up there, as we did with the bars. Um, and you can make the pieces, fill those in like that. Um, and you'll notice that when I click on it, this line up here shows up. That's because I can click this and I can drag it. I can move my circle around. So that's kind of fun for kids to play with. All of these, when you create them, they come up with these arrows, the bars and the circles both do this. And this is so that you can make the fraction piece bigger or smaller. So, okay, so that was a really quick introduction to playing around with the fraction pieces on this web-based application. This is free, it's available to use for anybody. You just have to go to the mathlearningcenter.org and go to their apps. And if you, um, the final thing I'm gonna show you is if you want to redo your screen because you want to start over. It's just this little button over here. You click that and you start over. I click yes. I'm going to clear all my work and that's it. So when you're home with students, your third, fourth, and fifth graders or older who have learned about fractions or are learning about fractions, have them play around with this app. It's a ton of fun and I guarantee that they're going to learn things about this app that I don't know how they work because kids are so savvy with technology and you'll probably learn a thing or two about fractions as well as they play around. I'd be really curious to hear stories. So if you try this with your kids at home and they have some success, would love it. Maybe if you take a screenshot and show me what they built, that would be awesome. All right, have a great day, everybody.